Hello, this is Haku Devine, and today we are going to level 63 of the backrooms. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Survival difficulty is class 0. Safe, secure, devoid of entities. Also, this level is known as tranquility. Description. Level 63 is a vast open space in the sky which is sparsely littered with several wooden bridges and platforms. They hang suspended by unknown means over the expansive void, which stretches out over the entire length of the level. The bridges are made of hard oak and they form a dense network of pathways around the level which ultimately lead to nowhere. Other structures that make up the pathways are ladders, rails, and in some cases, monkey bars, which all hang suspended over the void. All of these are made of the aforementioned oak wood. Walls of large, green, vine-like structures emerge from the void, reaching up to the invisible top of level 63. They form far away from the pathways of the level, making it so no wanderer could ever feasibly get near them. The walls continuously shift, forming elaborate patterns and breaking them down in the span of minutes. The composition of the vines is as of yet unknown, but it is generally assumed to be the same as a normal vine from outside this level. Level 63 is presumed to be very high up in the sky for various reasons. The atmospheric pressure in the level is slightly lower than the regular One ATM and large clusters of clouds can be seen forming periodically around the level. Despite the general temperature of level 63 being a constant 18 degrees Fahrenheit or 64.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Due to the fact that clouds form this temperature and not the unusual not the usual temperature of 1 degree Celsius, it is believed that the liquid that makes them up is entirely different from water. It might be almond water then. One interesting quirk that level 63 possesses is its strange day-night cycle. While the level is constantly in the, in the state of day, the sun still consistently moves around the level as if it were cycling through a regular day. Hey. It is unknown how daylight is still maintained during the periods when the sun is absent. The level is entirely devoid of any living things save for divines. Because of this, the only sounds that can be heard in the level are occasional gusts of winds, the creaking of the wooden bridges, and if close enough, the shifting of the vines. Natural hazards are also uncommon in level 63. While the bridges frequently appear to be misshapen and poorly constructed, there are very few reports from wanderers that indicate that they actually break down. Even in the unlikely case where the bridge does break down via water interactions, the bridges do not break down on their own. Falling into level 63's abyss is never fatal, as falling for a long while in level 63 will simply take you to another level. See entrances and exits. <clears throat> because of this lack of hazards, level 63 has earned an established reputation for being a good place for meditation and relaxation. As previously mentioned, the lack of entities, relative safety, and overall peaceful nature of level 63 makes it so that wanderers feel at ease when being in the, when being in the level. Meditation points. On some occasions, the pathways to level 63 lead to islands in the sky, which are far away from any other part of the path of vines. These are known as meditation points. Meditation points themselves are circular wooden platforms, measuring only a single meter in radius. A single bench is positioned in the center of each point, which is fused into the wooden platform entirely. It has also been noted that for some unknown reason, external noises are slightly dimmed near the meditation points, which makes it so that they are quieter than the rest of level 60.
Meditation points earn their name, which is common in uses amongst, amongst wanderers. Meditation. Due to their no is numbing ability, wanderers feel like they can focus and reflect on themselves and their surroundings much better when all external stimuli is easy. An unconfirmed but highly plausible effect of sitting on the benches has also been reported, where wanderers claim that sitting on them makes them feel more at ease with their emotions and form more composite thoughts regardless of their previous condition. All this makes the meditation point sa highly sought after or, or attractions at level 63 and gives the level a higher under attraction rate. This has resulted in people trying to profit off of the level 63, including the ENTG, but all these attempts were shut down by MEG, the officials who opted for level 63 as a neutral territory for all to experience. Basis, Communities and Outposts Due to the nature of level 63, it has been distracted from its nature. It's such a thing that level 63 is in 3. Collective freedom is not what you think happened. I think it's more strictly enforced by the MEG. Let's keep moving. And there's an exit. And it's actually old and some of the networks inside level 797. Entering them will lead you to level 63. Sometimes, no clipping through the hills of level 39 leads to level 63. Falling through some, through some shrubs in level 11 will occasionally lead you to level 63. This is much rarer than the previous entrance. <sighs> the only way to exit level 63 is to fall into the void. Whether by complete sin or intentionally. All pathways ASAP may a be in your way while all you fall will begin to move out of the way, and you will become unconscious, waking up to find yourself in a safe level. In the majority of cases, ASAP you will be transported to levels similar in nature to level 63, such as the previously mentioned level 797, level 39, or other such natural levels. Natural levels being those levels which have the majority of their mass comprised of biological flora. Alright. That was level 63 of the backrooms. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to do tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!